hello so friends if you're interested in learning how to make this design watch to the end hello guys welcome to my channel once again and to my old subscribers i want to say thank you for subscribing and for watching my tutorials so i'll be showing you how to make this dress so this is my body's block and this is the this is the front and then this is the back okay so we'll be starting with the front okay so remember the front the front the dress has a cape so we'll be working on our bustier i already made drawn my bustier so we'll be working on our bustier and then the cape okay it also has a turtleneck so for the turtleneck i won't be doing the tutorial here i already have two different videos on how to to cut and sew a closely fitted turtleneck so you can refer to that i'll also pin in the in the comment section okay so we'll start with the front so this is my front so i also have several tutorials on how to cut a bustier so you can do well to check it out so you know it has a yoke so we'll be doing a shoulder that bustier divide my shoulder or divide my shoulder into two so this is my shoulder measurement and then so i have 4.5 so divide by 2 will be 4 to 8 or the other hand you can also fold like this and then you get the midpoint okay so what i will do i will connect this line to my shoulder okay so this is it and then so for my boss points now because i really don't like revealing cleavage so her bust arc from her bust point to under bust, I have 3.5. So we bring it the 3.5 up here. So I'll mark this part, the 3.5. So this will just guide me. To know I'm going to curve it so that it's not going to reveal. But when we get there, you will understand why. So for the meantime, I will be doing a shoulder um, dart here. Putting a shoulder dart with my one inch. So we'll be closing the one the we'll connect our dart from here and then to this place here. Okay, so this is my shoulder dart. So because I've already taken out of my shoulder, so I'll be replacing this one inch back. So I'll just come down to my shoulder here and then I'll add my one inch. Okay, and then I'll connect it back to my arm hole so this is my new arm hole so i'm using the pencil so that you can differentiate this so, so i'll be closing the dart first of all okay let me explain something briefly the essence of this shoulder that is just to contour our bust here our bust area okay so we just need an extension we need to create it so we'll be able to contour this part here okay so this is my dart here so my bust point to under bust is 3.5 so this is the three Point five I marked here, so this is where my curve is going to be. So, but before then, I will be closing the dart, so I'll be able to draw out. We'll be able to mark out the design, so you can decide to slash it. So, from this point here, I will close it. Remember, I've replaced it here, so I'll close it this way. Close this. So, my masking tape to tape it down. So can you see so i taped it down already okay so now i want to draw a plunge neckline so for my plunge neckline before you start it's better you use a dotted line okay so you can see that my shoulder is back but we can see that this shoulder does not align so you take your i'll take my i'll connect my shoulder back okay so you can see now and I have my straight shoulder. So now what we are doing now is we want to create a plunge neckline, right? The sewing for this is, is different, it's technical, so that's why you should watch to the end. So I'll be showing you how I'll sew, how I'm going to sew it. Okay, so for this now, I'll just use a dotted line. I'm using a pencil to create. Remember, this is my um three point, this is my three point five. So that is where our bust cleavage and so if you want it higher you can bring it up i think i'm okay with this so i'll now use my curve now to to curve it out okay
okay so this is my plunge neck line okay so this is where it's 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 going to end so this part now will be my yoke okay from this under bust here to my shoulder is going to be my yoke okay and then that is not also we extending our, our sleeve the off shoulder or the cold sh the cold shoulder sleeve okay so from remember this is now my new armhole this is now my new armhole okay so now because this is my new armhole i will i will extend so i'm marking 4.5 here so it's more like the bicep measurement but i added i'll be adding like one inch or half inch so this is my 4.5 started from let me do it five inches so it's going to drop so this is five inches this is five so i'll connect my ruler from here to this five inches and see it's not straight so you can see so this is just a sketch i'll also use i'll still use my marker pen to to trace it out so i just want to, if it's not very okay i can erase it so this is more like a rough sketch okay i'm drawing the other line here i'm using my my pencil okay so i'm just marking it so what i have here i want it to be about two inches so this is two inches so two inches wide from this point here so i'm that is why you should use a pencil, a dotted line at first. Once you're okay with what you have, then you can now paste the lines out clearly. So I'm going to erase this. Okay. So the length of the of my hip is still four. It's still four point five. Okay. So I'm bringing it down. This is four point five. So my connect from here to this point, like. Okay, so this is it, and then I'll use my ruler to connect. I did five inches. You can you can see how it is. Okay, so this is my cold shoulder sleeve. This is my cape, and this is my cold shoulder sleeve. So I'll get another um, paper now, plain sheet of paper. I'm going to trace this out like this. I'm going to trace it out separately before we separate our bustier. Okay. So I've placed my plain sheet, my plain pattern sheet under, and then I'm going to trace. Now I'm tracing the cape that extends to my cold shoulder. Okay, so I'm going to trace. So so this is my armhole. Okay, so I'll take off the pins now. So this is my armful. Okay. So, so this is my center front. Okay, so this is up for easy identification. So I'll keep this aside and then I'll continue with our because I'm done with this now. I'm going to trace out this my yoke also. I will trace out this yoke out now. This is my yoke from here to the neckline to this part and to this side it's my yoke so i'm going to trace it out okay it's nice so our plunge neckline is starting from here so this is where my net is going to start from this is my yoke I've not added seam allowance. This is my center front. Okay. And this is the up. Okay, so we have two of our center front uh, pattern pieces. Uh, so we'll be using we'll be using net for this. I'll be using a spider web net for this. I'll be using the same fabric for this. Since we are done with um, tracing out the part the our uh, designs out, so I'll take up my my I'll first of all close this that. So you can see this line here. So this is what I'll trace. So this will be my center 
front panel to this part here so i'll be cutting please ignore this um ignore it. now if you notice now you notice that this line here and this is not equal because that is why we folded it to get our uh, lines to um, to make it equal if i didn't fold it after joining you discover that one part will be longer so now this will be my center so i'll be tracing this part i'll trace and then follow my bust here and then to this part why for my bust that i'm going to close this that and then i will trace this way this way and then this way to this part so let me close my bust that first i want to close this that here See what I'm doing. I've closed the balls that okay. So clear enough. So you can see this my dart leg here. So I'm going to cut this. This is my center front, and then this is my side. Front. so you can see that our pattern pieces is ready remember we've not added seam allowance what we did to the front our sleeve will also repeat to the back also so i don't want to sew the dart so i'll measure it out and cut it out by this side okay so my dart is one inch here so i'll come in i'll mark one inch and then i'll connect it okay so this is my new waistline now without this is my new waistline measurement without the dart okay so now we are not doing that okay so having done that the next thing is now to to draw cold shoulder so remember the cold shoulder we did for the um five inch so we're doing marking five inch and then two inches so i'm coming down so on my shoulder line i'll even though our shoulder, the back and the front is not the same, so I'll measure. So I, I got 4 and 0.5 after measuring. So this is 4.5 here. So for me, I'll mark my 2 inches. But I want to bring it down a little. So instead of this 4.5, I'll be doing it here. Okay, so from here now, so from this one, I'll mark 2 inches. Okay, so this is my 2 inches. So I'll come straight here. First of all, I will draw, I will mark, measure my 5 inches. Okay. So I'll make sure I have my 5 inches. Measure 5. Okay. So this is 5. And then what I have 5 inches also. So I'll, from here, I will measure 5 inches. I will draw. I will draw and then I will measure my 5 inches so this is my five inches so i'll connect this now to my two inches so, so this is the up i'll also treat it out so because the back also has a a v a, a shape there's a lacing so for the lacing will come down on our waistline we're coming from our waistline two inches so i'm marking two inches from my waistline here before that i have to determine where I want my yoke to start from so show that i'll come down seven inches okay so this will be my yoke line okay so this is where my yoke is going to my yoke is going to be seven inches long okay so this is my center back guys and this is supposed to be my zip allowance but i'm not doing a zip okay so let me cut it out so i'll measure from this seven inches yoke line this seven inches yoke line i will come in remember we are not sewing that anymore we close our that okay so i will determine how many inches i want to use for the um uh, for the lacing so for the upper part i'm doing three inches you know when it's three inches here the other part will be three inches that means six and then when it's two inches here, the other part will be two that means four the, that's the full back we have four inches open around the waist and the and the yoke line will be six so I will take my ruler and then I will connect it from my two inches to my three inches. Okay, so from this three, you know it will have a turtleneck. 
and then the the back has a v shape so from these three inches now i'll connect it back to my i'll connect it back to my neckline okay so this will be my yoke so this will be my yoke and then this will be my side back so my center back is out so what i'll do i'll i'll just when i cut this out i'll double i'll place this on fold use it to cut and then add about five more inch allowance inches allowance okay so this is it about the back so what i need to do now is to trace i'll trace out my sleeve So this is now my panel. This is my center back. So this is what I use to cut my flap, my my the flap to cover the back. This will now be my yoke. So before the yoke, let me cut out the sleeve. Okay, guys. So this is my back now, and this is my sleeve. This is it about this now and then this is my panel this is my center point so these are all my pattern pieces so what i'll need to do now is to cut my yoke for the front but before that so because we need one single piece for the back uh, for the cape i'm not joining it around the shoulder so I'll, I'll pick the back so i'll pick the back of my sleeve and then i'll join it together with this and i'll take it down so after taping, this is what you have. So you can see how sharp this point is now. So if you want it sharp like this, you can leave it. But if you don't want it, so you can now decide to blend, depend on what you want. So this is it. So this is now my ample part for my back. So this is my back, and then this is my front. So I'll have one long piece. There will be no joining around the shoulder. Okay. So this is it about it. So what I will do now is to add steam allowance okay so all my pattern piece and then on the other part i'll add it on on the fabric okay so so this is my yoke this will be the net this is my center front side and then this will be and then this is how it's going to be and this is my back yoke okay so this is my panel i'm going to cut this double i'm going to fold put let this on fold and then add about five more inches remember we've not added seam allowance to all these patterns except this so we've added seam allowance to this okay so before so this is the upper so i'll just draw my slash lines so i'll draw my slash lines the up so these are my slash line and then this is the up 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 so i'm going to cut this now so I'm going to cut this up. So you can see I, I stopped before the armhole. Okay, I didn't slash to this armhole. I didn't slash towards the sleeve. So this is the part that will have a, a little bit, a little uh, spread. Okay, so I'll stop at the tip. I'll stop at the tip. So spreading will give you to add a little fullness, a little volume to to the cape so that it won't be pressing on her bust okay so after drawing your slash line so you can go ahead and start spreading so there's no particular measurement okay so i don't have any particular i'm just spreading so so you can see the spread i've done so now what i'll do is to add i'll add seam allowance so this is where my center front and so i'll start adding my seam allowance you no know, this is my back so this is my back armhole okay so this is for the back so this is where it's going to end this is where my sleeve is going to end so i would i like to add one inch allowance on this part on the armhole for the back watch my seam allowance So all my pattern pieces are complete now this is my yoke and this is the center front this is the side front this is the cape and that doubles as so this is where it's going to start from so the cape also doubles as a cold shoulder sleeve 
okay so you can see this part now that i spread this part that i spread that is going to stand it's not going to be flat anymore okay so i've done it i've added seam allowance and this is the back there's no that this is my yoke and this is my panel so i'll cut all this on my fabric okay i'll iron stay on every pattern pieces except this so this is going to be my next okay so i'll be cutting my sleeve also so i'm sure you have a bit on how to cut a sleeve so i've been doing that here sleeve is uh, is not part of this tutorial because i already have a separate tutorial on it so i've gone ahead to join the pieces so this is the boat front and i've cut the lining to this is the lining so for uh cold shoulder sleeve and and the design in center front so this is what i did so you remember i joined my pieces together the back and the front sleeve so this is the back and this is the front joined together okay so this is my ample for the front okay so this is that is why i needed to that i traced my ample so so i'm going to leave this part on so i'm going to i won't sew this part and then i will sew this part because this is the sleeve and then i'll sew the down part so that is what i did here so you can see so this is the part that will be on the chest from the under bust and then this is going to stop around the armhole and then my sleeve will continue from here okay so after joining this so this is the center front this is the center front the skin color crepe to so it's to cover the because i can't expose the center part of the bust so we'll be joining this now now remember this part So remember we are cutting two of this. So this is it. So after sewing an iron, I use interface. So you can see the interface on it on both sides. So iron interface on both sides. So I'll keep this now. And then we'll start with the front. So like I said, so we'll be joining the front together. So now you can this part that I notch, I hope you can see this part. This part that I notch is so this place is going to be joined together and then the opening is going to start from here okay it's going to start from here so but my net is going to start from the waist from the down part so everything i will cover every i'll cover this down part and then the opening will start from here so what i will do first of all is to start sewing from here so i'm going to start I'll make sure i exhaust my half inch allowance so the opening i'll start opening from here you can see i already notched the part here so the opening will start from here so this whole place is going to be closed so i'm going to make sure this both side matches up then i'll move this thing so my net didn't get to this point so it's an error but it's yeah, there's no problem at all because this part won't be seen okay so this part here will be hidden so that's why i didn't even bother right so i'm going to notch so let me get the mid the middle so this is the middle so i'm going to sew on the middle so i'll place my seam allowance you can see my seam allowance for this 0 0.5 so i'll place it here so even if it doesn't get to this part just make sure it's 0 0.5 this is the interface okay and then so try and sew it in a way that it's not going to show okay i'm going to try and sew on the same line so i will now start opening from here so I'll bring it out and then see what I've done. So you can see that this part is closed. So you can see my opening starting from here. So this part is covered already. So 
Now, you notice this is the part I notched. Okay, so this is where this is where my um, cape is going to start from this part. So let me show you the pattern. So this um this is the master. So this is the pattern. So this design of our cape started from from the under the bust, under the bust, not from the waist. So this part is closed. Then the opening starts from under the bust. Okay, you can see the the design. So if you if you are watching from the beginning, you should understand this part. So this is the side. Okay. All right. So now what I will do. So I'm going to place this um this design so you can decide to hold it down with a long stitch. So I've gone ahead to hold it down. Okay, this is my under bust. Remember it was notched. Okay, so I'm going to place it inside and then pin so So this is how I'm going to place it. And then I'll make sure I stop on. So this is where it's stopping. So this is not supposed to get to this point. Remember, we're going to fix our sleeve. So the sleeve shouldn't interfere with this. Okay. So it's stopping here. So it's going to stop here. So this other, this remaining part is going to be for fixing of our sleeve so let's so what you can do is to hold it down so if you notice that there is still enough space you can bring it or you can see where i started from so so i can decide to start from this part here leaving the same allowance so that's what i'm going to do so you can see this part so i'm going to push it in So when it gets to this part here, I'm going to push it in. The, this part is going to be inside. Okay. So this is what I'm going to, I'm going to repeat this. You can see. So I'm going to repeat the same thing to this other side. So I'll place my, place it this way. And so. So like we did the first time so i'm going to match it up to the armhole leaving my seam allowance okay after fixing the cape this is what you have so now continue this so you can see and then you can see this other side so i'm going to continue sewing from the inside So from this part here, you start you start pulling, you start sewing to this side. So you sew it to this point. And you can see the, the the cape stops here, but this net is going to stop here. So I'll pin it. And then we'll sew to that point and then we'll do the same thing to the other side so after sewing this is what you have we're still going to put our bra up but that will be on the lining so you can see and then i'll do the same thing to this part So I'll hold both together and so remember the curve is going to so we are we join this part together and then the opening starts from here so that's I'm going to I'm going to start sewing from here so guys this is it So this you can see where this ends so my sleeve is going to 
start from here it's not going to interfere with the sleeve okay so same as this other side right so this one now attach i'm going to place this one at the back like this so it's going to be by the time i fix the yoke by the time i fix the yoke it's going to be somewhere here so it's time to turn with the lining so i've gone ahead to sew the bra up on my lining so you place this is the front side of your lining so you this will be here and this will be here okay so you flip this you flip this this way pick it and so to this point here now you pick this other side flip it this way pick this one So we sew it like this to this other side. Okay, so So this is the rough side and so we've concealed the rough edges and I'll pick the other side of the lining and I'll do the same so I'll just pick I'll join it start sewing from from the bottom here and I'll sew it to the end so guys this is it you can see so I'll use hem gum like I said I will use hem gum on this side to hold it down okay so what i can also leave it like this so you can see our plunge neckline is ready so I'll iron and then i'll join it together with the back so i'll be joining the back now with the u back also has the u so this is the back and then this is the u so like I the for the for this spider web because it's very very light I doubled it I did that also to the front so I just folded it into two and I cut and fold so I'll pick one of these and I'll place it here while the other one will be here. Can you see? So this is how it's going to be then I'll touch on it. Remember we still have a panel. So I'll attach the panel before joining the U. I'll attach the panel to this side. So if you want to see, so I'm sure you'll be wondering what is this. So I did in invisible corset. So this my my panel. So I have a tutorial on how to sew a modesta panel. I'm going to place the back like this. And then I'll use the lining to turn it. Our back heel is ready. So I'll um, repeat the same to this side. This is my yoke. So this is my back, guys. So what I'm left with now is to fix the eyelet. So I'll fix the eyelet. Once I'm done with the eyelet, I'll join the shoulders together, front and the back shoulder. And then I'll join you together with this part. So now, please don't forget to subscribe. 
so this part is going to come to this part here at the back so i did one inch seam allowance so i'll sew in my one inch i'll take off my one inch seam allowance or whatever allowance you added to pin it so this is how i see so assuming my shoulder has been joined already so this is my shoulder and this is my skin so guys this is it you can see there's no joining anywhere so join start from here so guys i made this particular dress using so guys, the don't forget same to method i if you got in value this tutorial so if you want to see the outcome tutorial, of this tutorial follow like me on instagram